Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. A recent thread in the Manifold user forum at uh, georeference.org asked about how to find parcels that are surrounded by, uh, uh, entirely surrounded by some other parcel. And uh, here's the e actual example uh, work uh, drawing that was used. And uh, we have a Bing, this, this shows a real estate parcels in a town in Belgium. And then we can see that uh, with uh, Bing street maps. Uh, let's uh, zoom in here a little bit closer. And let's turn Bing off so that doesn't clutter the background. And the idea is to find all parcels like, say, this one right here, uh, which is completely surrounded, but only by one other parcel. So, for example, uh, parcels like this one here, which is also surrounded, but it is adjacent to other parcels, don't count. We just want to find those which are completely surrounded by just one other parcel. For example, this one here. And the idea is to uh, uh, find, uh, ultimately find real estate parcels which are uh, little chunks of land like uh, where uh, like easements for uh, cell phone towers or electrical pylons or something like that that may be inside other parcels. Great, super. And uh, the way we're going to do that in Manifold, there's many different ways of doing it in Manifold, but there's a particularly easy way which is basically just two steps. It's a simple self-join and then, a, and then uh, a spatial selection. So let, let's go right to it and we'll use the parcels layer here. And the first thing I'm going to, and, oh, the first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the parcels table. I'll double click that to open it. You can see it has only two fields here. So let's see that it is. Let's switch back to the map. And with the focus on the parcels uh, layer, let's choose Edit, Join. And in the join, we're going to do a self-join between the parcels uh, layer to the parcels layer, layer itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new field based on the MFDID field uh, where we're going to count uh, the number of uh, objects that touch the, uh, another object. And we're going to put the result into a new field, which we'll call Touches Count. And uh, let's click Join. And that'll perform the join. It happens instantly in Manifold, as of course many things do. And uh, that adds a field, a new field, a new attribute field called Touches Count. And we're interested in records like this one, uh, which has a Touches Count of 2. If we go back to the map, we see, just happen to select that one right there. Uh, this particular object, the spatial, what, the, what did the spatial join do? It, it said, how many other objects touch this? And because it's a self join, the object obviously touches itself, so that's one. And then this area that surrounds it also touches it, so that's two. But no other areas touch it, so the count for this one is two. The count for this object up here is also going to be two, and so forth. And how to find those, that's very easy to do. We'll go here to the Select pane, and uh, for the Parcels layer, we'll go to a Touches Count, and we're going to search for everywhere where Touches Count is equal to two. And the action is going to be Replace Selection. Let's click Preview so we can see what is going to happen. You can see those are the ones that it's going to pick. Let's click Select, and we're actually going to select those. Okay, so what have we done? We've selected all objects which have only two other objects touching themselves, counting the object itself. So that's obviously these right here, which are the ones we, that, that we want. But that also includes objects like this one here, uh, which we don't want because uh, there the object is touching itself, and here there's another object that's touching us, but it's not completely surrounding it. So we're going to get rid of all these other objects, which are basically on the outside of all these uh, of the, of these collections of objects. And there's a couple of different ways of doing that. Uh, one of the simplest one, which is kind of, I mean, for example, we could create a buffer. We could, unif we could union all these into a different layer, create a buffer, and find all the objects that touch that buffer, which is on the very outside border, and get rid of those. A simpler way is to uh, take advantage of uh, uh, manifold editing, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new ob create a new drawing, create a new drawing. Let's call that new drawing outside, and uh, we'll use the coordinate system of of Pseudo Mercator. It doesn't really matter because manifold can, can actually can transform coordinate systems on the fly. Let's drag and drop that into the uh, map. If we click onto the info pane here, we can see that the parcels layer is orthographic. It's being shown in a map which is Pseudo Mercator. The uh, outside layer is also Pseudo Mercator. And Manifold has no problem mixing and matching coordinate systems and making spatial comparisons. Okay, so with the focus on the outside layer, let's draw an area. Click Create Area here, and let's draw an area. And we can, we're can we just drawing this freehand. It doesn't have to be precise. It just has to be bigger than all these parcels put together. And now I'm going to use the uh, Clip Editing command to uh, clip that, clip this new area that we're in the process of creating to the extent of, the, of whatever's in parcels. Click OK, and you can see that it's just uh, automatically clipped that area that we pr uh, uh, that we proposed to create to this rather complex structure. We can see it's a very complicated path here defining the new area. Click Add Record, and we just added the new record to the outside uh, layer. And let's let's make that prettier by uh, choosing by styling that into uh, oh, let's lose this color right there, antique white. Okay, great. So we now have a new layer called Outside in the map, and that has a single area in it, which is everything outside of the parcels layer, and uh, in the map, we can now 
find everything in the parcels layer which is touching an object in the outside layer and to do that I'm going to use the uh, select pane again but I'm going to use a spatial selection so uh, using the uh, parcels layer uh, I want to use the geometry field because we're now going to do a spatial uh, test and we're going to use the spatial query uh, excuse me the spatial uh, uh, template so we want to find everything in the parcels layer which is touching anything in the overlay which in this case is the outside layer and uh, let's preview, th preview what that is and you can see the, how it picks out everything which is touching the outside layer and uh, what I want to do is I want to automatically subtract from the selection that's what I want to use as the action so anything that is touching the outside layer I want to subtract from the current selection in parcels click select and there's the result we've just eliminated all the other objects which are touching the outside and there you can see there's uh, that one right there which is a possible candidate for what we're looking for and if we wanted to get rid of these bigger ones we could always select on the basis of size object size okay super now that we have the parcel selected we can use them however we like for example we can uh, copy these and uh, paste them into the project pane as a new table as, and thus to create a new drawing and uh, that gives us a drawing of just the uh, selected parcels uh, or if we like we can use them in any in uh, further uh, operations using uh, using the selection uh, the key thing is that in if you strip out the narrative in less than five minutes we have found exactly uh, what we wanted all the parcels that are, that are completely surrounded by just one other uh, area and we did that using a sequence of very simple steps uh, we uh, used uh, the edit join dialog to do a self join so we added the uh, touch count to the attribute fields of uh, of each of these objects and then we used selection to select all objects that had a touch count of two and uh, then to clean that up we found the outside by drawing in a new layer uh, an outside uh, object which uh, we extremely quickly constructed using using the clip uh, editing editing uh, tool which is an example of how really fast and user-friendly and easy uh, vector editing is in a manifold of uh, release 9 by the way we're doing all this in manifold of release 9 all this works in the free viewer as well so you can try it at home uh, and then last but not least uh, we used uh, the select pane with the uh, quick spatial with uh, temp quick use of the spatial template to uh, uh, deselect all the uh, uh, areas that were on the outside that you're leaving just the ones that we're interested in so that's all fast that's all easy to do like I say all this works in the free viewer and uh, it's much harder to do in other GIS packages I hope you've enjoyed this quick video tell your friends about Manifold try it in the free viewer and uh, check us out uh, for the next video on the Manifold channel thanks for watching and goodbye from Manifold land well that was fun uh, if you want to see more visit us at www.manifold.net as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, Manifold.net. See you soon.